You've lost everything, and yet still here you stand. I must say your audacity is almost admirable. However, you rejected me, and I will not relinquish the royal scepter. Since we cannot come to terms, we can only decide this through battle. I have but one final question, Prince. Do you wish to stop me? Or do you wish to be king? What is it you truly want? I want to stop you. I see. Then I too will fight you with all that I am. For the sake of this country. But it hardly matters now. My ascension is complete. With my own hands, I will tear apart these lie-laced dreams and bury the past. Here ends the royal bloodline and the legacy of the archetypes. We stand on the threshold of a new dawn, a new age. I can't listen to any more of this. What new age? What do you know about him? All you do is destroy. You refuse to believe in dreams. That's why you can't believe in anything that's gradual, complicated, and slow to change. All that means is that you give up on everything. You'll never beat us. You're nothing but a coward trying to escape this reality for one you made up. The time for words has passed. <laughs> so be it. The quintessential force of the archetype. Is this all? Such strength! How? It's happening so quickly! Behold! This is the Royal Scepter's potential. Resist no longer. As I said, I would rather not force needless death upon you. Embrace it once more. Take your true form and become worthy of my new world. You are unfazed by the melancholy. Yet you thirst. Drink deep of the magma. Obstacles are clear. The boy Open your eyes. is no more. Wake up! Please! You have to wake up. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Where? Are you awake now? I summoned you just in time. Do you remember what happened? What you've done? I've ripped out my... I'm frankly amazed you would go to such lengths, even to fight back against the spell. If I hadn't saved you, you really would be dead. But rest assured, we're finally safe. As for where we are, we are far, far away from that hellish world. Do you remember the first time we met? I was sure you would find a clue in your journey that might reveal where in the world this place is. So I believed anyway, but I was wrong. From the start, this place is... It was never of that world to begin with. No. Maybe there's a better way to put it. This is a place that exists between reality and fantasy. In other words, the world we've been living in is fantasy. The journey was all an illusion. An illusion? There's nothing but despair in that world. And it will never get better. It's an endless, painful, irredeemable hell. I'd always believed that creating a utopia was possible. And if there was desire, then I thought maybe one day someone would achieve it. But I came to realize I was mistaken. In the end, a fantasy is just that. A fantasy. But all that primordial chaos only exists in that world. The world of reality is nothing like that. Really, it's an environment you should know quite well. You've come to know so much of it already. Through text on a page. Now. Behold! Isn't this... Indeed. It's the world I wrote accounts of in my novel. Until now, you've thought this world a mere fantasy. But it's not. So the world I know is all an illusion. And the world of the novel is... reality? Surely you already know. There is no deadly magic, no prejudice between its people. <laughs> now, all you have to do is admit that everything you've been through has been nothing but a story, just a fantasy. Then this can be your perfect reality. Your journey of revolution was just a passing dream. Let me take you back to reality, child. Can you really do that? You don't have to worry. As long as you can accept that this place is real, everyone will be safe. That world is past any point of redemption. Change is impossible. The royal magic was supposed to be the turning point, but it was all for nothing. In the end, people don't want their world to change. They just want someone to be a sponge for their infinite anxieties. That's all. You can't blame Luis for wanting to end that cycle. How could anyone accept that they lived in a world that miserable? I understand. Yes. You're exactly right. No! Open your eyes! Indeed. In the end, fantasy and reality cannot intersect. The reprieve of a dream ends at the real world's borders, powerless to change it. You've done well. No one can blame you for choosing the truth. Let's be on our way. There is no need to cling to the husk of a world that's already rotted away. All things must end in their due time.